let me define a property which will I will call thermometric property okay now what is this now let us uh, understand it in this way that whenever we want to measure temperature okay when we have to measure temperature uh, let us say our aim is to measure temperature now to measure temperature uh, we need a reference body so the requirement is of a reference body now this reference body should have some specific uh, physical characteristics so with certain physical characteristics or let us say properties okay so th this is the basic requirement that if I have to measure temperature I will need a reference body with certain physical properties okay now whenever there is a change in these physical properties the change in these physical properties would actually indicate that the temperature is changing okay so the change in the physical properties which indicate a change in the temperature are called thermometric properties okay now for example a very common uh, thermometric uh, property is resistance of a conductor okay so if the, the if the temperature goes up the resistance changes if the temperature goes down the resistance changes again so the change in resistance of the conductor is basically a thermometric property which indicates that there is some change in the temperature of the conductor okay now this reference body okay this reference body is very commonly called a thermometer this reference body is very commonly known as thermometer now uh, a very common kind of thermometer that we usually see in our homes is uh, mercury in glass thermometer okay now the reference body is mercury if I have to draw it, it will be. It is something like this: a common thermometer where you have some mercury filled in this bulb, and there are some graduations on it. So what happens when the temperature changes? What happens? This liquid or this mercury level will rise in this capillary tube so this rise or this increase in the height okay this increase in the height becomes the physical property so this increase in the height indicates that there is some temperature change okay so the reference body is mercury when the temperature changes that is uh, the the height will uh, the the there will be some height gain within this capillary tube the height gain becomes a physical property change known as a thermometric property which would indicate a temperature change so I think it is you know quite clear to you that what we are talking about uh, in this topic now <coughs> going up to the slide okay now in this slide I have mentioned or I have listed some thermometers that we normally use the first one is the constant volume gas thermometer okay so now we are using a reference body as the gas now the volume of the gas does not change so means this physical property this physical property will not change so this means volume will not indicate a change in the pr temperature so what would indicate the change in pressure of the body would indicate a temperature change 
this means the thermometric property for a constant volume gas thermometer is the change in pressure similarly the constant pressure gas thermometer for this the thermometric property is the change in volume because the pressure is not changing so as uh, if a physical property is not changing it will be it will not be indicating a change in the temperature now if you look at the electrical or the electric resistance thermometer what what changes resistance changes when the resistance changes this means there is something going on with the temperature okay if you look at the thermocouple thermocouple will indicate that there is a change in the emf across the junction and liquid in glass we just studied that was the you know mercury in glass thermometer and the thermometric property is the change in height of the mercury column so this is by far a very uh, you know short summary of the various thermometers that we use and the thermometric properties that are actually used to indicate a change in the temperature.